Hey, how's it going? Um, it's my second video of uh, tasting West Flutterin. My last one was West Flutterin 12, um, actually filmed in, at home in Atlanta. Um, this time I am actually in Amsterdam at my fiance Bess apartment. And today we made a trip down to the Beer Koning in Amsterdam near uh, Dom Square. And they're out of the 12, but they did have the West Flutterin 8. Um, the date on this one is 10, or actually July 10th, 1999. So that means this beer is, um, was bottled in 96, and that makes it a 12-year-old bottle of beer. So How much pretty, did you pay for the 12-year-old bottle of beer? <laughs> I was worried this question would come up. <laughs> um, this bottle actually cost 18 euros, um, which is... $25? $25, $25 to $30. Um, Depends on where you change your money at. So. <laughs> um, but the West Flutterin 8 is a slightly lower gravity beer than the 12. Um, so it should be uh, probably a little smoother. Well, 12 was very smooth, but it should be just a slightly less of a strong tasting beer. So I'll go ahead and open this up. For glass, I'm using a, a McShoof glass that we got at uh, the Le Chouf Brewery Tour. It's kind of a, a goblet style, so I thought it'd be perfect for the for this Trappist. Now we'll have to see how this differs from the West Letter and Eight that we had at uh, Cambrinus Pub in Bruges, because I think that one was a newer one. This one has been aged a little bit more. Yeah, the one we had in Cambrinus was probably only three months old, mm -hmm. so still very young as far as these West Flutterin beers go. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, I can smell a lot of interesting <clears throat> scents from the probably the yeast, almost like a banana, very strong banana smell. Interesting. Yeah. But not too much of a head. Um, it almost looks the same color as the West Flutterin 12, just slightly lighter in color. Um, but this is a 12-year-old bottle of beer, and I probably got some of the sediment in there because um, I bought this bottle this morning and didn't really have much time for it to, to settle after carrying it from beer coning. So here we go. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Um, so what's the main difference with the aging? Like, um, the main difference between the taste of this and the newer one we had at Bruges. Well, this one's definitely mellow, mellowed out a little bit more. Um, I think the hop flavor eventually deteriorates over time. Mm -hmm. So you get a little bit less of a bitter flavor. Mm. Um, and I, I don't really know the chemistry, but uh, I think the, the beer tends to just sort of mellow out a little bit and uh, mature in the bottle. I'm, I'm not sure if 96 is ideal age for this beer or if it's past its prime because I know with wine there's a peak time that you're supposed to drink mm -hmm. it and then uh, eventually it sort of mm -hmm. starts to decrease in quality but this this bottle of 96 uh, West Letter and 8 is incredible um, it's a really good really good taste so not sure I would pay 18 euros every time to have <laughs> it um, but if I were able to procure a case of this and let it sit for 12 years I would definitely enjoy drinking every last bottle so all right, well, enjoy. Mm. Yum. Yeah.